Uh, okay, most likely cause of the pleural effusion. Okay. All right, we got a 60 year old woman, two week history of progressive dyspnea, non productive cough, no significant past medical history, decreased breath sound on the right, right side of pleural effusion, thoracentesis is done, high protein content, and a lactase dehydrogenase level of around right two thirds of the upper limb. Okay, so there's some kind of infection. Okay, so you got exudate instead of transudate. So based on these, we can probably get rid of congestive heart failure. That's probably going to be more transudate versus exudate. And you know that's not the case because it's got that high protein content and the lactate dehydrogenase. Um, don't think it'd be cirrhosis of the liver. Um, don't think it'd be a PE either. Between phrotic and pneumonia, I mean... I think it'd just be pneumonia. It'd be like bacterial pneumonia causing an exudate. Yeah, good. Yeah, this is Light's criteria, right? Um, is the name, I think, of the doctor that came up with this, right? So okay. all I just remember, the best way I remember this is um, if your pleural flu fluid has a lot of crap in it, right? It can't be a transudate. It has to be exudate, right? And it has to have mm -hmm. a lot of stuff. It can, it can be cancer. It can be infection, right? Anything that has a lot of cells in it is an exudate. Um, a transudate is exactly kind of how, so I, I remember it's like translucent, right? So it should be like water. So things that cause serious things like cirrhosis, PE, um, nephrotic syndrome, CHF, it's all going to be transitive. So good. Mm, okay. I wouldn't have associated nephrotic with transudates. Okay. That's good. To so, know. so think about nephrotic syndrome is you're peeing out a lot of protein, right? Yep. If you're peeing out a lot of protein, then it can't stay in your capillaries, meaning that it's going to. Mm, I see. Cause you're losing that oncotic pressure. Yeah. There we go. There we go.